I'm gonna show you how to promote YouTube videos using Google Ads with as little as $2 a day. As you can see in the screenshot here, one video got over 2,100 subscribers using Google Ads by promoting my YouTube videos, and the other one got 1,100 views. I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step step how you can replicate this process as well. Now guys, as you know, YouTube is a hard platform to start growing, especially in the beginning. So I'm gonna show you a method that is gonna show you how to promote your organic YouTube videos using ads, but in a strategic way and not that expensive that's gonna help you grow your channel but by paying a little bit to give your videos a boost now guys if you are brand new to my channel my name is Jonathan Montoya with passive income lifestyles and the purpose of this channel is to teach you how to build a full-time passive income business so you can achieve financial and time freedom guys I used to work a nine-to-five job back in 2019 and I started my business as an affiliate marketer and in 2020 I went all in I quit my job and now I do this full-time that's the purpose of this channel is to help you guys build a full-time passive income business now if you want to learn exactly how I can help you do that there's a link down below on how I can help you quit your nine to five job and achieve financial and time freedom besides that guys please subscribe to the channel and let's get into the video Alrighty guys, let me just show you some quick proof right here. As you can see, there's a few of these videos here that have done really, really well. As you can see, this one right here has gained over 2,100 subscribers. This one here, 1,100, 900, 760. So these are basically videos that I'm boosting using Google Ads, okay? Now I'm gonna show you exactly how I do this in this video because I've done Google Ads multiple times and I've lost a lot of money. As you can see, I'm only spending $2 a day to get a lot of these results, okay? And you really don't need to spend a lot of money to get these results. As long as the content you're making is good content, we're just using Google ads to kind of boost our content out to more people. And what I'm gonna show you in this video is how I'm basically replicating the YouTube algorithm, but using Google ads. Alrighty guys, so step number one is to make sure that your YouTube profile is set up correctly, meaning you have a YouTube banner, you have at least five videos on your channel, you have a profile picture. This is really important because if you're running ads and you literally just have one video, no banner, then people are not gonna follow you. Let me show you an example of what I mean. So this is my channel here. Make sure you have some sort of banner at the top here, guys. And you guys can create this yourself in Canva or have someone do it in Fiverr, just pay five to $10. But make sure you have all this stuff. Again, guys, this is very basic stuff, but I just wanna mention that to people that, you know, that wanna grow their channel, but they don't have any content yet, okay? Work at least getting five to 10 videos on your channel, a banner, and then we can start boosting videos. Now, step number two is you wanna do your research. Now, I'm gonna show you why you wanna do this, because what I'm gonna show you is how we're gonna pretty much replicate the YouTube algorithm, but in Google ads. Now, let me show you an example. I've done this multiple times where I've tried to promote videos on Google using Google ads, but I just seem to always waste money, okay? So what I started to do is like, okay, how can I replicate what YouTube is really good at, right? So for example, if you go to any of these videos, right? Let's just say we go to this video here by Anthony Morrison, okay? Now what YouTube is gonna do is in their organic algorithm, right? We can go down and they're gonna be recommending videos here on the right side. That's typically what YouTube does, okay? So I looked into this, I'm like, okay, how can I replicate this using Google ads. Now, that being said, I said step number two is we have to do our research. So what I'm gonna be showing you to do is I'm gonna show you how to show up on this recommended feed. Now we're gonna pay for that. Obviously we're using Google ads. Your video is gonna show up here at the top at number one, okay? So, you know, if you have a video on cryptocurrency, then you're gonna wanna do some research on crypto, right? How can we get a video shown on another crypto's channel, right? That's how this algorithm works, right? So if we go to YouTube and type in something like cryptocurrency, there's gonna be these top videos, right? Now, obviously, if you're a brand new creator, you're not gonna be able to get your videos at the top at first, okay? So I thought to myself, how can we recreate this YouTube algorithm? So if we click on, let's just say this video right here, it brings us to the actual video. Now what we want is we want YouTube to suggest our video, right? So typically what I mean is 
we want YouTube to show our videos here on suggested. Typically that's not gonna, YouTube's not gonna suggest your video if you're not a big channel like, let, let's just say this channel right here that has, you know, 300,000 subscribers, okay? They're gonna push other channels that are bigger. So what we're doing is we're basically replicating this YouTube algorithm, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna place an ad here at the top, okay? This is called a suggested or discovery video. That's what we're gonna be doing, okay? So these are the type of videos that uh, we're gonna be promoting, okay? There's multiple ways to run Google ads, but this way has been the best way for me, okay? Now, just to mention, there's other ways to do it where let's just say someone goes and they type in affiliate marketing. Well, you can actually show your video at the top, okay? When someone types in a keyword affiliate marketing, as you can see here, this video shows up at the top. That's not what I'm gonna show you personally. I've done that, it doesn't work as great for me. What I'm gonna show you is how to show up on other people's video. That being said, again, step number two is do your research. So what you're gonna wanna do is find 10 channels that you want to model, okay? Meaning, we're gonna be placing our videos, our ads, on these 10 channels, okay? So that is step number two. Okay, so step number three is to obviously upload your YouTube video. Now, this is very simple, right? Obviously, you're gonna make a YouTube video and we're gonna wanna boost it using Google Ads. Now, I do wanna show you a quick tip, okay? This is not necessary, but I usually do this every single time if I'm gonna boost a video, okay? Now, if we go into my videos, as you can see, these are some of the videos that I've boosted you'll notice that these are all unlisted, okay? So meaning they're not public. So what I did was I re-uploaded the same video and changed it to unlisted. Now I'm gonna show you why I did this, okay? Because when you run ads to this video, it kills your organic reach because you're running ads to it. So the audience retention is usually a lot lower, okay? So typically on this video right here, I was getting an audience retention about 40% with a YouTube ad or a Google ad, this goes down significantly, okay? Like five to 10%. That being said, so you can see I got 20,000 views here, but a lot of those people will tend to leave because obviously they're an ad, they don't know you, okay? So it's just a little bit different, okay? So what I like to do, instead of boosting the organic video and kind of killing the watch time, I like to upload the same video and then just running an ad to that same video, okay? So just a pro tip there, I learned this kind of the hard way, you don't have to do it, but I highly, highly recommend it. Now, one thing to note when you're re-uploading a video is you wanna make sure and trim off like the last second or the beginning second. If you re-upload the same exact video, YouTube will flag it and delete the video because it's a duplicate, okay? So for example, right here, the original video was 49.35. I just trimmed off a second and then re-uploaded the video, okay? Again, this is not necessary, but I like to do this because I don't like to kill my organic reach because I work really hard to do that. All right, guys, so step number four is to actually run the Google ad. This is the moment you guys have been waiting for, but I just want you guys to make sure the foundations are set up correctly. You did the research. You found at least 10 other people that we're gonna be using to run Google ads on, okay? Because this strategy right here, we're not gonna be targeting keywords. We're gonna be showing our YouTube videos to other channels that are like us, okay? That's why it's really important to do that research first. That way we can start running these ads. I'm gonna show you exactly how to run them right now. Now guys, I'm not gonna show you how to actually set up a Google ad account. It's fairly simple to do, but uh, just go to Google, type in Google ads, and you can very easily create your account here. Obviously just follow the instructions. I'm not gonna go through that right now, okay? So once you have that set up, okay, it's gonna look something like this. Obviously, if this is a brand new account, you'll have zero cost down here. But basically what we're doing now is we're gonna set up the campaign, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to new campaign right here at the top, okay? I'm gonna walk you through this whole thing step by step, all right? So the next thing is we're not worried about sales leads. All we're doing is we're creating a campaign without any goal guidance, okay? So we're gonna click on this. 
and we're gonna run this as a video ad, okay? And then uh, once we click on video, it's gonna ask us what type of campaign do you wanna run? Now, typically what I'll do is custom video campaign because I like to customize every part of this whole sequence, all right? So we're gonna click on customize or custom video campaign. We're gonna hit continue, all right? Now, the next step here is just name the campaign. So I'm just gonna put YouTube organic or whatever you wanna name it. All right, guys, so once we name it, we're gonna keep our bid strategy as maximum CPV, which is cost per view, okay? And we're gonna actually bid on this, which I'll show you in just a little bit, okay? Now, this is important here. We wanna change this to daily. Again, I mentioned in the beginning to do $2 a day. You can do two, $5, $10, whatever you wanna do. You really don't need much for this, guys. I'm just gonna do $10 a day, though, just so I can get some data first to see uh, you know, if this campaign is gonna be good or not, okay? But you really don't need much, as you can see, on my campaigns I showed you earlier, I'm only running $2 a day right now, okay? So we're gonna do that as daily, as long as you're good, you know, spending, you know, whatever that is per month, okay? $300 per month, okay? So now as far as country, I typically will target the top five. So Australia, Canada, New Zealand, United Kingdom, United States, okay? That's typically what I will do. Obviously target the countries of the customers that you wanna attract, okay? Language, I'm gonna go for English here. Inventory type, I usually switch this to expanded. I'm not worried if my videos are showing up on expanded inventory. Really doesn't matter because we're gonna be choosing our channels that we're gonna be putting our videos on. So it really doesn't matter in this case, but typically when I run YouTube ads, that's typically what I'll choose anyway. So I'm just kind of used to doing that, all right? Okay, so we do that. Let's see, related videos, additional settings, devices. Let me see, I'm gonna set this on everything besides TV screens frequency capping typically I'll do this if I'm running like a, a sales ad or you know an ad to my three-day challenge but typically we're just gonna cap this at let's go aggressive at five per day this just caps it it you know if it's showing your video five times per day and any, anytime after that it'll stop showing that ad okay but this is actually pretty aggressive a lot of people do is like two per week I'm very aggressive. I like to be in people's face. That way they can recognize my brand. So I like to do very aggressive here. Okay, this is typically what you would call aggressive. Let's see here. So don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. This is um, demographics here. So if there's any specific age here, that's up to you guys uh, You know, on who you wanna target exactly. Don't worry about audience segments for now. This is where it gets important though, is the placements, okay? So remember I, I mentioned that you need to find 10 channels that basically that you wanna be like, okay? That, that's typically what I would tell my clients and my students is we wanna find 10 channels that you wanna model, right? So if you have a crypto channel, find the top 10 crypto channels that you wanna show your ads on okay and this is really important right so for example if you're you know if you're doing affiliate marketing you might want to show your content on Santrell media right this is why I say it's really important like figure out who you want to be like or who you want to model because these are the videos that we're gonna be placing our ads on okay this is why it worked really really well for me okay so now again you do your own research you know I have my own settings that I did for the videos that crushed it for me but look, look, I mean, if we just go ahead and choose some of these, right? Central Media, let's just say, let's let's try that. Central Media, all right, there we go. So we can place our channel, our, our video ad on this, and then we can kind of go down the list, okay? I typically like to do at least 10 channels here. So what you can also do is you can type in like affiliate marketing or whatever your niche is, right? If you're doing dog training, keto, whatever it is, right? You can also go to the top channels here. I don't like to do this because I like to be very specific on the channels I'm targeting. I'm not just gonna put my ads on all of them. I wanna do it on very specific channels. That's why I say do your research. You know, a lot of people I know will skip that part, but that, that's typically what I'll do. Now, for the purposes of the video, I'm just gonna click a few of these here. You know, Liam K. James, some of these bigger channels here that I wanna throw my ads on, right? Flint Franklin Hatchet. I would do at least 10 to start, and then you kind of test from there, okay? Now, once you add your 10, then the next step is to simply just place your ad, guys. And what I'm gonna show you here is really important, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our video, right? So if let's just say we uploaded it, we're gonna go to get our link, get our shareable link here. It's simply just the link for the video. And we're gonna go ahead and click on this. Now guys, this is really important here, okay? This is an in-feed video ad, okay? So it used to be called video discovery, but it's now called in-feed, okay? So you don't wanna do a skippable, okay? That You don't wanna do this. You do wanna do skippable when you're like selling something, okay? Now I teach this inside of my YouTube breakthrough course. We use skippable ads to 
get leads and sales, but this video specifically, we're just talking about in-feed ads, okay? So this type of campaign, it's really, really important if you click on this, okay? If you click the wrong setting, you can't go back, okay? So we wanna click on in video feed okay now this is important guys okay i like to have a thumbnail okay so i like to make it look like it's the exact same video on organic because it is right it's going to be showing like on the right side it's going to be showing up at the top this is how it's going to look so we want to make sure it looks like a normal youtube video we want to make sure it has a thumbnail we want to make sure it has a good headline okay so typically i'll have a good headline here okay so i'll pretty much copy this for the most part so you know I'll, I'll go ahead and copy this and then i'll go back and, and and put that in there description i'll usually just copy my my description here and that's it you know i obviously took the time and and did this and did the headline to the description so I, I could pretty much use this now okay so best course for complete newbies and that's it guys Th this is all you do okay so what's going to happen is it's going to show this video on these placements okay so people are watching these channels it's gonna show up on the right side at the first spot, okay? That's why this method's so powerful, okay? Then we could go ahead and go to the next step here. This is really important here, guys. So again, I'm very aggressive. So, you know, I'm willing to spend, outspend everybody because I know that, you know, I can go ahead and, and profit from this later on. So basically it says you can bid nine cents. So this is how much you're willing to bid, okay? So for me, I'm pretty aggressive. So I like to do like 35 cents, okay? So basically I'm gonna outbid everybody. That being said, you're gonna be spending a little bit more, but that's okay because for me, I wanna have higher quality people looking at my stuff, okay? So that being said, you can kinda look at, you know, with $2 a day or $10 a day at 35 cents a bid, you can kinda see how much you would be paying, right? So typically you're not gonna be spending 35 cents. You'll probably spend more like four cents to 14 cents, okay? This is just saying, I'm willing to outbid anyone at 35 cents, okay? So that's basically what that means, okay? And then create campaign and that's it guys. That's literally this whole process on how I promote YouTube videos using Google Ads. And I'm not gonna promote this because I already have it in my own campaign, but that's it guys. Once you go ahead and do that, you can start promoting your YouTube videos using Google Ads, which becomes very powerful, right? And this is a method that's gonna just help you grow if you're just starting out, because if you're starting out from zero, it's gonna help you guys start growing your channel as quickly as possible. Now guys, I hope this video was of value on how to promote your YouTube videos using Google Ads. It's very simple what I do. I don't spend too much money. I make sure to do the research, figure out where I can place these channels at or place my videos at and then from there, I run the ads to those channels. Now, of course, guys, you can run YouTube or Google ads to certain keywords, to infinity audiences, which is, you know, a different video I can do for another day. But this has worked really well for me. So I just want to show you exactly how I do this. And this hopefully this will help you grow if you're just starting out a new YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe down below if you found any value. And again, guys, if you're looking to leave your nine to five job and achieve financial and time freedom, click on the first link down below. I'm gonna show you exactly how to leave your nine to five job to do affiliate marketing. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless and we'll see you on the next one.